You are looking live at James A. Anderson Gymnasium on the campus of Ashland Blazer High School in Ashland, Kentucky, otherwise known as the center of the basketball universe. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Chris Pullum, and with me, Tyler Rowland, and we're here to bring you the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on MyTown TV. And Tyler, this matchup will feature the hometown heroes, Ashland Tomcats, who felt a little harshly done by last night after the way their game ended against Simon Kenton against a Carmel School team that uh, were really flat out of the gate in the first half, but in the second half nearly pushed over against Henry Clay, but it was Henry Clay who got out with the win. Yes, and yeah, Ashland, um, it was unfortunate what happened at the end, but you know they're going to come out in this one with a lot of firepower in Carmel yeah. School. They would cut a 19-point lead to two in one quarter practically. Mm -hmm. So um, they showed their athletic skills. Um, the two teams actually played over the summer in Virginia. Of course, now I know that's a different because, of course, you know, they didn't really have much prep. It was just kind of sure. go out there and play. But this matchup's going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And whichever style, I think, um, if Carmel School turns it into an athletic contest, I think they'll be able to pull it out. If Ashland can shoot the three ball well and turn this into their style of game, then I think that they'll yeah. be able to pull this one out. And – uh, the Carmel School last night had some shooting woes until the third quarter when Javon Brooks got hot and hit, I believe, four in the third quarter, Tyler. Yes, and that, that was unbelievable, Chris, that display of athleticism. He didn't score in the first half, and then he breaks out four threes, 14 total points for the third quarter, and you look at <clears throat> what he brought to the table there, uh, it, yep. it, brought, it brought Carmel back in that game, and Henry Clay, a team that – is poised to get back to the state tournament again this year. They have some guys that contributed heavily on that team, so I think that um, I think that definitely is a a bright spot for them. And I know against Ashland, I think um, given that they played this summer and Ashland won that game, I'm yeah. sure they're going to have a little bit more fire under their belts. Speaking of Ashland, they took on Simon Kenton yesterday in Game Three on Day One, and it was a close game down the stretch Ashland had a one-point lead going into the final play of the game it appeared to me that Tucker Conway was trying to intentionally foul Bilton as he crossed half court mm -hmm. because Ashland had a foul to give mm -hmm. the two trail officials neither one would call the foul so play continued uh, Gabbard then took the shot from the corner which missed and it was rebounded by Polly who uh, I guess depending on where you were sitting uh, either got the ball out of his hands before the buzzer went off or didn't. I think there's some debate there. But Ashland, again, feels a little harshly done by today, and I think they've got something to prove. Yes, I think that was um, – and where I was sitting, um, I don't think the tip was good um, based on that. Mm -hmm. um, and went going back, and I've looked at that thing time and again. Um, however, I will say um, Simon Kenton – is an outstanding mm -hmm. program. They're a great basketball team. And not to mention, um, I think in terms of just how the situation went um, and how they, I don't think their athletes um, from a professional standpoint could have handled that any better. Um, I thought they had a lot of class about them and a lot of composure about themselves. And I definitely think that um, they'll be a force to win what is a, a, pre, a tight region that they're in. Well, no matter what, Ashland has to put that game behind them and get ready to take on an athletic, talented, strong Carmel School here in about eight minutes. We're going to take a break. You are watching the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament on My Town TV Sports. We will be right back.
Hi, this is Clay at Pollux, and this crazy Christmas season, we want to let you know that we are offering curbside service and deliveries. You can also shop online at shop.pollockjewelers.com. Remember, have a Merry Christmas and shop local. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. Hey Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. It's game two, day two of the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop. And it will feature the Ashland Tomcats and the Charter, I'm sorry, the, the Carmel School coming up here in just about six minutes. And Tyler, I can tell you, I had a chance to talk to all of the coaches who were attending this tournament with their teams and all of them staying at the Delta Hotel downtown. And, you know, I can tell you it is all, all of them gave rave reviews for the service and the amenities at the Delta Hotel. And we're so fortunate here to have a tournament like this and also have a world-class hotel in our downtown to be able to accommodate these teams who are coming in, aren't we? That's brought a lot to the area. Um, I mean, the kids, you look at, I remember last year with Bowling Green when they were riding the scooters. <laughs> you got that film of them, and um, they're having a great time with it, and it's great for these people to have the opportunity to come to the city of Ashland and get to have a great experience being here. Well, Tyler, Ashland has played athletic strong teams before and ended up pulling those games out. Tonight, much of the same. If you look at these two teams lining up for layups, the Carmel School has probably uh, three inches and 20 pounds in every position on every Ashland player. But what is it that Ashland does so well that causes problems for these teams? Ashland, and that was what was so amazing this summer, Chris, seeing them. And we saw, I remember last year in particular with North Gwinnett, Georgia, when they played, how outmatched they were athletically. But Ashland found a way in that they were able to, first off, facilitate the mm -hmm. offense and move the ball around well. Second, they communicated well and defensively were able to step in and cause problems. They get, get after loose balls, and I think that, I think to beat Carmel School that they are going to have to, of course, find a way to out-hustle them and make make plays all yeah. while on offense, of course, focusing on their signature ball movement. One bright spot, I think, in Ashland's loss uh, yesterday was the play of Xander Carter, especially in the second half where he took it upon himself to challenge Simon Kenton's big man in the middle, Gabe Dines, and did it successfully, and I think that has – giving him confidence going into this one. That has, I think, because that's a – Gabe Dines is a big dude. And uh, one thing about a lot – because a lot of 7-3 guys you see are, are very – I mean, I, even at the college level, you see some that are very awkward and uncoordinated. And with Gabe, that was not the case. I thought yeah. he moved around pretty well for his size and got in there and made plays. Um, and it was – and that's yeah. one part that makes Simon Kenton's defense so deadly. But Xander came in there, took it right at him, and even got a couple of fouls on him. Um, so that was uh, – I thought that was definitely, like you said, a great confidence booster for Xander. So do you anticipate Ashland coming out and trying to play man versus man defensively against this team, or uh, do you think they'll stick to that zone that they've gone to so much this season? I think they'll stick to the zone. Um, in the summer when they played, they ran almost exclusively – 2-3 zone. Of course, yeah. I know different circumstances here. Um, I would probably try the zone early on, but um, Ashland has this year, it seems like they like to open up with the man-to-man, -man, yeah. so they may try to focus on that earlier and see how All it goes. All right, we're going to take our final break before tip-off. It's the 67th annual AIT brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. We will be right back. For those on the go, the Smoothie Connoisseur, the Break Room Favorite, and for those that just never quite have it all, Clark's has what you need to keep your day on track. Make life easier and keep your busy schedule moving forward with everything you need at Clark's. Clark's Pump and Shop, 
Return, refresh, refuel. Hi, I'm Tiffany with Members Choice Credit Union. Use your Members Choice Credit or debit card at any participating realtor and you will get a discount of their choosing. Merry Christmas from Members Choice Credit Union and thank you for shopping local. future of energy ours by knowing who we are where we're going by remembering the roads we've traveled while developing new paths of our own at Kentucky Power we're working to generate new ideas and empower possibilities for us all shaped by who we are where we live and what we value the future is ours to hold And we're back for the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament. Let's throw it down to the velvety tones of Mr. Chuck Rist for tonight's starting lineups. Keechern, Aaron Brown, and Richard Agbo. For Ashland, the usual suspects. Xander Carter, Asher Atkins, Tucker Conway, Race DeBoard, and Tristan Davis. Those are your starting lineups, and we are seconds away from tipping off. Tyler, any final thoughts? I think that Carmel's going to come in and try to send a heavy dose of Ruben McKeecher early. You'll see a quick point guard. He likes to take a lot of mid-range jumpers, and I don't think they he, he took a couple shots early last night, but not a whole lot. I think we'll see much more involvement from him tonight. And that's going to be Agbo and Xander Carter head-to-head -head on the jump to begin this one. And immediately... 
Carmel wins the tip. Ashland in the 2-3 zone. First shot, a 17-footer by McEachern, and he drains it. Carter, Adkins over to Conway. Nice cut by Carter, and he's able to finish. Good look by Conway, but it was Carter with the basket cut, found himself open on the left side. McEachern now up front. Aaron Brown. Back to McEachern, he's gonna let it fly. That one about a foot short, it's gonna be Ashland Ball. McEachern still wondering what's going on as he holds his pose at the three-point line. <laughs> hey, at least he could laugh about it, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> like that, yeah. <laughs> that was something else. The board across the timeline to Carter. Carter hounded by McEachern. The board with room to go on the left side, lays it up, misses the layup, tapped out by Davis, but Controlled by Agbo. Here comes McEachern. Brown all the way to the bucket. Left hand, no good. Carter got a hand on it but couldn't control it. And they're going to say that's going to Ashland anyway. I must have missed a tap there, Tyler. Yeah, that's a, it's our angle. But yeah, three shots taken by Carmel. Not so good looks, yeah. although one of them went in. Atkins. Over to DeBoer, tried to get the curl, but the defense was there. Carter now feeds it into Asher Atkins. I'd love to see Asher Atkins square up there at the three-point line, make his defender play him. Mm -hmm. Nice take by DeBoer, kicks to the corner to Davis. Just didn't get the handle. Now it's Carter who wants to drive. Left side, right hand, got it. <laughs> Ashland up 4-2. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. McEachern. Trying to direct traffic for Carmel. Kristen Brown tried to feed Agbo. That's going to go off of Adkins, so Carmel will have it deep on the sideline. I wouldn't mind punching it into him a time or two mm -hmm. because Ashland doesn't have, other than May or anybody that has the height to combat him in the post. McEachern, both feet in the paint, kicks out to Brown. Brown. Drives to the nail, nothing there. McEachard nearly lost the handle. Dumps it down to a waiting Edens who's able to finish with no one around him, but Ashland quickly back in transition. The board off the screen. Good defense by Edens, didn't let him penetrate. The board though, slices, dices, right hand layup, no good. McEachard. Aaron Brown inside to Edens. Edens, left hand jump hook, no good. Agbo went up, but it's taken away by Asher Adkins. Conway is going to bring it up for the Tomcats. Over to Adkins. The board now on the wing. Adkins all alone, three ball short. Davis skies for the rebound, but can't get the finish. And that one controlled by Agbo. We're going the other way. Carmel now pushing in transition. Edens was all alone underneath, couldn't handle the pass, but the unfortunate bounce fell onto Carter's shin, and it's going to be Carmel's ball out of bounds. Edens. McEachern. Check that. Brown. Now McEachern. Brown. Three ball. Got it. Much better ball movement from Carmel. They were a little out of control last night. Nice take by DeBoer, just couldn't get the finish. He had the right hand. And that was Brown again who rises and fires. Ashland now with a five-point deficit, calls a timeout. It'll be a 30, so we're going to stay right here. And you can see already, Tyler, Carmel playing with a lot more confidence than they did last night offensively. And Ashland sitting back at that 2-3 actually is playing into Carmel's hands. They're able to slow things down and work for a good shot. And it's paying off so far, isn't it? Yes, they're doing a much better job. Last night they played way out of control. Yeah. They had double digits and turnovers in the first half. 
But tonight they've come in. They took a couple bad shots early. They got settled in. Yeah. And Aaron Brown, who's, who's had some looks from the next level, um, shows why he's as good as he is. Hits a three and then gets a mid-range jumper to put Carmel ahead. Ashland now has missed three point-blank mm -hmm. layup opportunities in this one. Yeah, two of seven right now are the Tomcats. The board across the timeline over to Carter. Carter wants to drive to the middle. Nothing there. Kicks out to Atkins, who's got some room. Conway, the board. Ashland playing in a frantic place, pace here offensively now. The dump down to Davis, a little too hot to handle as we're going the other way. Carmel quickly back, but Ashland's defense set up. Brown. Look at the way Carmel is working the high-low post with Edens and Agbo. What they want to do is get the ball to Agbo on the high post and the dump down to Edens. Shot, no good, rebounded by Davis. Conway up to Atkins, over to DeBoer. DeBoer now, he'll back it out. Conway, DeBoer. Kicked out to Davis. Davis on the drive. Finish. No good. Took a bump. No call. McEachern layup. No good. And it will be Ashland's ball as that went off Agbo. Couple subs in. Stacy Bird in for Carmel as well as uh, number 21, Javon Brooks, who got so hot last night in the third quarter in Carmel's game against Henry Clay. Not enough to bring them back, but definitely showed his class. Burn and Brooks, both excellent athletes to have coming in off the bench. Carter, Conway, three ball, corner pocket, got it. Tucker Conway makes it a two point game, 9-7, Carmel. Brooks on the wing, nowhere to go. Brooks again. Nice screen by Bird. Bird goes up for the rebound, can't finish, but it's number five, Christian Brown, who's able to pick it up and finish the work for Carmel. Conway back to Asher Adkins. Carter on the drive, blocked by Bird, finished by Davis. Good follow-up by Tristan Davis. And it's 11-9, Carmel. Oh. Brooks stuffed by Carter. The dump off to Carter, layup, no good. Controlled by Conway, kicks out to Carter. Conway's going to let it go, three ball, no good. Carter, out to DeBoer. DeBoer with... McEachern on him. He'll back it out and reset things. A lot of pressure coming from McEachern. He needs the screen to break the, and he did. Broke the five count. Davis. Conway. Carter now. Ashland needs to settle down offensively here. Nice drive by Carter up and in. Big time move by the sophomore Xander Carter to tie things up at 11. And Conway jumps the route, lays it up, and in. Ashley with a two-point lead. Tucker Conway, so much talked about with a three, his three-point shooting, but he is heavily underrated as a defender. Bird fumbles it at the free throw line, taken away by DeBoard. Ashland is on the run, race DeBoard, looking for options. Wisely backs it out to Carter now. Coach Ryan Bonner barking out his orders to his team. Carter turns the corner, fouled by Bird. Won't get the shot. It'll be Ashland's ball out of bounds underneath. And is that really the first foul of the game? Wow, that, that is. <laughs> Here comes Mayor and Lalone for Ashland. Mm -hmm. Lalone had a really nice game last night. 
He did good physical yeah. play. Great physical play, and also he stepped up and hit big shots when they needed him to. Carter now, Euro step, fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul will go against Kyle Jackson, number 15. And Carter taking his first trip to the line of the night. Xander Carter on the season is a – didn't want to jinx him by saying it. <laughs> Actually, I don't have his free throw shooting percentage on here, Tyler. Do you have it? He was shooting right around 80, uh, much improved from his 60% last year. Carter gets his own on the tap out from Mayor, and Carter will get a chance again to go to the line. After flubbing those two, let's see if he can get back on track here. Carter actually 72.4% on the year. So Carter with three misses in a row, finally gets the fourth one to fall. Ashland with a three-point lead under 10. Seven seconds. McEachern, floater, got it. Tough three shot. seconds. And that will do it for the first quarter. I know they're going to call a foul. And I thought they were going to give Carter the shooting foul because he was turning to throw, but instead they just put the, the foul on. Uh, I'm not sure who they put that on. We'll try to catch it at the break. We're going to take a break. You're watching the 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament here on My Town TV Sports, So we will be right back. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Hi, I'm Tiffany with Members Choice Credit Union. Use your Members Choice credit or debit card at any participating realtor and you will get a discount of their choosing. Merry Christmas from Members Choice Credit Union and thank you for shopping local. And we're back here on My Town TV Sports. It's the 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament. Ashland up 14-13. At the end of one, Ashland will begin the quarter with the ball. DeBoer across the timeline. Carter now trying to find some room to drive. He is fouled on the drive. That foul will go against Jaquin Harley. Carter, like you said, Chris, with that confidence, he's picking up on it from last night. and He's been going into the lane and drawing yep. fouls. Lalone now up top with the ball. Hands off to DeBoer. DeBoer will initiate the Ashland offense. DeBoer with room to go around Brooks. That was shut off quickly. Tried to dump it down to Mayor, but that went off the leg of Bird, so it'll be Ashland's ball out of bounds underneath. Ward doing a good job penetrating the paint. He's improved so much as a facilitator. Yeah, speaking of a nice curl by Carter, and with the finish through Bird, Ashland back out to a three-point lead. Think, talking about improving, James Mayor last night I thought played a really good game defensively for Ashland. Offensively still just a step slow with mm -hmm. those offensive instincts, but defensively and on the glass I thought he played a really good game. He did. Showed a lot of improvement, let's put it that way. There we go, blocked by Mayor. He must have known I was talking about him, Tyler. <laughs> the board kicks to Conway, three ball, got it. Tucker Conway, Ashland pushes their lead out to six. Conway now has eight, including two three-pointers. Brooks over to Jackson, back to Brooks. Jackson drives. Mayor challenges, rebounds Stacy Bird, and he finishes it. Harley giving a lot of pressure on the board, but 
Mayor gives him the release on the screen. Tough pass there. Just a, it's a tough pass for a big guy to handle in traffic, mm -hmm. Tyler. Yeah. I like the thought. DeBoer trying to dump it to his big guy there, but in traffic, that's a tough one for a big guy. Yeah, I like how Race is not afraid to to feed it to him mm -hmm. still. Um, he, he, he still trusts James. Yeah. That was an issue for Derek Endicott for Lawrence County, and he got better at it with the repetition and by 2004 was a dominant mm -hmm. force at the center position. Ryan Bonner getting on his point guard a little bit on the sidelines. I think he wants to see DeBoer get to the rim and finish. Brooks, no good. Oh, Mayor just couldn't handle the rebound. It's going to be Carmel's ball out of bounds. Box set from Carmel. Bird. Over to Brown. And that'll be an illegal screen on Stacy Bird. That is his, I believe, third foul, Tyler. Yes, and that'll be a, that'll be a bit of a game changer for that is his third. Um, Bird, an important presence on the inside for Carmel School. He caused some problems last night on the defensive end for Henry Clay. Edens back in the game for Carmel. Cam Davis now running the show for Ashland. Davis across the timeline. Gives it up to Mayor. Instead taken away by Carmel. Brooks blocked by Mayor. They're going to say he fouled him, but there might have been a little body, but there was a lot of balls. You see on the replay, Mayor just climbs the ladder. And Tyler, on the replay, that looked clean. It does look clean. And, um, yeah, Mayor, and that's an area he's improved so much in because before he was always bad to jump into the player. Yeah. But he did a good job steering clear of that. Just got called for the foul. That's one of those anticipation fouls where the officials mm -hmm. pretty, much, pretty much made up his mind. If there's going to be a challenge, it's going to be a foul. And mm -hmm. uh, I think he got that one wrong. But this crew out here, I think, this, this core crew of three refs out here today has, has done a really good job in this tournament. They have. Yeah. These three have been great. You can't get them all right. Yeah. The, the, the you best, just can't get them yeah. all wrong. <laughs> yeah. Even the best miss them sometimes, and Davey's the best of them. Yeah, absolutely. Conway on the wing, trying to start something, drives, and he is fouled on the slap down by number 13, Aaron Brown. And that is the seventh team foul. Mm -hmm. Ashland on the one and yeah, one. Ashland in the bonus as race to board, rises from his seat on the bench, and he is ready to check back into the action. And Tucker with the free throw. Tucker is hit coming into tonight, Chris. He's hit 40 shots. 36 of them have been threes. I thought we were going to see him get two twos in the same game. Conway with the finish. 21-17, Tom Kex. Tough pass there from Brooks. A little too hot to handle and out of the range of Ed. And so another turnover for the Carmel School. And, you know, it was, it was play like that last night, I think, Carmel, where they would play a little bit too loose. Mm -hmm. And Henry Clay seemed to take advantage of it every time. Right. And that's something that they that, – that, and that was a problem for them some this summer sometimes. They get to that isolation and do a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Malone, jumper, no good. Rebound, Mayor. Out to DeBoer. DeBoer jabs, decides not to go now. Ah, that's a suit. Let's, I don't know if we're going to get a replay on that one, but I thought Mayor was there. As we look, does he get his feet set? Oh. And now he's still moving. Nah, his feet yeah. are, yeah, that's a. Yeah, that's a foul. But I always told my guards in that situation that that foul shouldn't go against Mayor. That should go against the guard. The guard left too early. The guard has to wait for that post player to get there and get his feet set. If he leaves early, mm -hmm. then he is setting his post player, his screener up for a moving screen violation. That's true. That's a good argument. Nate Freeze, he's another one I thought played some good physical defense last night when he got in. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebounded by Atkins. Here comes Ashland on the run. It's Xander Carter in traffic. Finger roll up and in. 
Carter's now in double digits, Chris. Well, you can see his confidence growing almost with every shot that he takes in this tournament. It's getting better and better, and he's really emerged as a strong leader on this team. Harley over to Brown. Brooks now with Adkins on him. Harley, three ball. Got it. Joaquin Harley with the three ball. And we're a three-point game here. Ashland 23, Carmel 20. The board. He's going to let it fly. Top of the key, no good. Carmel now with a chance to get within one or possibly tie it up. Brooks now on the wing. Harley, why not? Three ball, no good. Rebound, Atkins. Carter now. And he is fouled from behind. Looks like that will go against Harley, and it will. And just taking a look at the interaction between the lead official and the Carmel bench, it looks like there has been a warning issued to the Carmel bench. And I don't think that was directed at Coach Williams, Tyler. I think it might have been a member of staff. Yeah, I didn't quite see the altercation, but yeah, I know there was some questioning that call. Carter, second shot, up and in. Five-point lead for the Tomcats. 3.27 to play here in the first half. Three ball, got it. Aaron Brown. He now has eight, including two three-pointers. That was some good patient inside-out basketball by Carmel. The board a little out of control there as he got up in the air. McEachern fouled, and he'll get the bucket. So McEachern with a chance to put Carmel ahead by one with just under three to play in the first half. And that's a nice play. Ashland has done for most of the half a good job containing him, but mm -hmm. um, if I had a nickel for every dime when I saw him play this summer that he made plays like that, I'd be retired yeah. at 35. <laughs> DeBoard pulls the rebound, knotted up at 25. DeBoard off the freeze screen. DeBoard now directing traffic. The board up top. I think they're trying to get freeze on the block. That one just left Carter's hands. He's fouled on the way up by, I believe that was number 13, Aaron Brown. So Carter will go back to the line to shoot. I believe that's going to be the ninth, yes, ninth team foul on Carmel School. Carter has 13 points so far. Make that 14 as Carter hits his first free throw. He'll get one more. Agbo back in the game for Edens. Carter, pure on both. Ashland with a two point lead. Two and a half to play here in the first half. McEachern. Brown, pull up, 10 feet. No good. Brown gets his own, tied up with Asher Atkins. That's got to be a jump ball. And that'll be, I believe, Ashland's possession it is. And that's the kind of plays Ashland has to make against those mm -hmm. big guys. They got to get scrappy in there and come up with plays like that. Not too many teams can outwork Ashland. I'll give, I'll give credit to the Ashland Tomcats and Coach Ryan Bonner for that. They don't get beat on too many hustle plays. Carter up top, two minutes to go until the end of the first half. Carter looking for room to go, cut off by McEachern. DeBoard, plenty of room to go, left-hand layup just off the front of the rim, and DeBoard just not having much luck on that drive tonight, Tyler. Those are shots he usually mm -hmm. puts home. Yeah, he loves that little reverse layup, and 
he's getting there, just having just the rim yeah. not too kind tonight. And I'm convinced that Carmel is is determined to take one of our cheerleaders out of commission before this game's <laughs> over. <laughs> That's, that is the third fastball right down Main Street that's hit one of our cheerleaders. <laughs> The board under pressure, backs it out under control, now wants to give it up to Carter. Davis on the wing against Agbo. Atkins back out to Davis. He's going to let it fly. Three ball, Davis, no good. Rebound by Campbell. Brown in the corner. Jump stop, floater, no good. Agbo able to keep it alive, and now it's Brown. Free throw line jumper, he got it. Christian Brown with the jumper ties things up with under a minute to play in the first half. Conway on the wing. Conway on the drive, layup, up and in. Tucker Conway. He now has 12. 29-27 Tomcats, 40 seconds to play in the first half. McEachern wants the screen from Agbo and uses it. Campbell from 25, lets it go, no good. Agbo, shot up and in. Nice finish by the big fella. Tough shot. Mm -hmm. And that's just one of, those one of those times where Carmel can take advantage of their size inside. Conway to DeBoer. And they're gonna say that went off DeBoer's thigh. So with 15 ticks left and a tie game, Carmel with their chance to go into the locker room with the lead, Tyler. Yeah, I think if I'm Carmel here, I try to get something through McEacher, maybe get Aaron Brown open as he's hit a couple threes already tonight. McEachern with 10 seconds. Seven seconds. They're going to go. They need to go now. Taken away by DeBoard. It's a foot race to the rim. DeBoard, two, one, layup, up and in. And the Tomcats will go to the half with a 31-29 lead off a heads-up steal from Race DeBoard. Tyler, we're going to take a break. You're watching the 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. We will be right back. changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. Hey Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Hi, this is Clay at Pollux, and this crazy Christmas season, we want to let you know that we are offering curbside service and deliveries. You can also shop online at shop.pollexjewelers.com. Remember, have a Merry Christmas and shop local. And we're at halftime of game two, day two of the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament. Brought to you by Clark's Puppet Shop here on My Town TV Sports. And again, uh, had a chance to catch up with all of the coaches who have brought their teams to this event, and they cannot say enough about the treatment they've received at the 
Marriott Delta Hotel in downtown Ashland. And just, uh, I just got to say it again, how fortunate we are to have a world-class hotel right in our downtown that can support events like this, one of the longest-running tournaments in the state of Kentucky. And now what we've added is this gem in downtown Ashland to really make these players feel special, Tyler. It's, it's, uh, it, it, it really adds to the event, doesn't it? It does, just getting to stay at a place like that. Coming to the AIT, I felt like for many years that the AIT was, um, I mean, it, it was one of the premier tournaments in the state. Mm -hmm. And I felt like for a spell there, it kind of fell off. It drew some good, talented yeah. teams in. But now, I mean, in recent years, it's been propelled back up. And part of that hotel experience is part of it, I think. It's great to – People here have loved it. The Virginia schools, uh, it's not like the Simon Kentons that have traveled from across the state. It's a great, it's a staple of the community. And we're going to take another break. When we come back, our Tyler Rowland will run down the first half stats. You're watching the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament, brought to you by Clark's Puppet Shop here on My Town TV Sports. the future of energy ours by knowing who we are where we're going by remembering the roads we've traveled while developing new paths of our own at kentucky power we're working to generate new ideas and empower possibilities the future is ours to hold Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Hi, I'm Tiffany with Members Choice Credit Union. Use your Members Choice credit or debit card at any participating realtor and you will get a discount of their choosing. Merry Christmas from Members Choice Credit Union and thank you for shopping local. It's the Tomcats on top of the Carmel School by a count of 31-29 at the half. And with me, Tyler Rowland, who's going to run down our first half stats. Tyler, take it away. Chris, we'll start with the Tomcats. Um, we'll, we'll do a little bit of numbers comparison first. Um, actually, Carmel School was 12-27 for the field for 44%. Ashland 11-25 of 25 for 44%. Carmel School from downtown, they were 3 of 7 for 43%. In three point range, and surprisingly, Ashland two for six. I'm just surprised they've shot fewer threes than Carmel has. <coughs> um, Ashland's been to the line. Tyler, I've got to stop you for a second. You've broken one of the rules in broadcasting that really is day one stuff. Broadcasting 101. You never eat Skittles right before you go on the air. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. I love my Skittles. <laughs> um, and then. Um, um, and then Ashland, two of six from downtown. Free throws, Carmel's two for three for 67%. And Ashland is seven of 10 for 70%. Um, Ashland, we're going to break down this shooting a little bit further, that 11 to 25. Xander Carter is five of eight. Tucker Conway, four of four. They're nine of 12 combined. However, the rest of the team is two for 13. So yeah. rebounds are almost dead even. 17 to 15 with um, Ashland leading when both teams with six offensive boards. Um, but yeah, at Xander Carter individually has 15, Tucker Conway has 12. DeBoard and Davis each have a bucket. 
And then for Carmel School, it's been a little bit more even spread. They've had eight players score. Aaron Brown has eight. McEachern has six. Um, Chris Brown has four. Um, Harley has three. And then Eddins, Agbo, Brooks, and Bird each have a bucket for them. But, so I think the big difference, though, has been mm -hmm. shooting in Ashland, not getting much production outside of Conway and and um, and Carter. So can Ashland find that third score to step uh, step up here in the second half and pull away from Mount Carmel or from Carmel? We'll find out in two minutes. You're watching the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament on My Town TV Sports. We'll be right back. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. Every growth number that we have is another person that we helped. People out in the world today need help, and that's what we're there for. Hey, Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on Boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. How do we make the future of energy ours? By knowing who we are, where we're going, by remembering the roads we've traveled, while developing new paths of our own. At Kentucky Power, we're working to generate new ideas and empower possibilities for us all. Shaped by who we are, where we live, and what we value, the future is ours to hold. City National Bank is proud to be ranked number one in the region in customer satisfaction for the last five years by J.D. Power & Associates. For a convenient City National Bank location near you, log on to bankatcity.com. That's bankatcity.com. City National Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. City National Bank can help you purchase or refinance your home with their no-down payment mortgage. For more information or a convenient City National Bank location near you, log on to bankatcity.com. That's bankatcity.com. City National Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. And we're back to live action here in the second half. Carmel starts off with the ball and immediately turns it over. It's Xander Carter who picks it up. Ashland on the move. Carter is going to let it go in the trail position from three. And Xander Carter buries it for his 18th point of the game. You can feel his confidence flowing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> McEachern. Screen from Agbo. Nowhere to go. Over to Brown. Brown's going to back it out, reset, wants the screen from Edens. Carmel really not working that high-low post like they should against this Ashland team. That's a, an advantage they have is size and strength inside. And almost on cue, they go inside to Edens and, and get the easy bucket. The board, Davis, Atkins at the trail. Carter, he's going to go left side. Knocked away by... Brown, McEachern's going to take it all the way in for the finish. Mm -hmm. McEachern rewarded for <laughs> running the court with his hustle. McEachern uh. called for the delay warning. Basically, that's a warning that's given when a player interferes with the ball after it comes through the net. If it happens again, it will be a technical foul assessed to McEachern and Conway. He's only three for three from the three-point line tonight for his 15th points. Man, he's just got that quick, confident mm -hmm. release. You, you feel like every time he gets it from there, he's going to hit it. You feel like it's going to go in. You're right. Brown, jumper. No good. Brown thought he got hit on the arm. Here comes Davis pushing tempo. Carter, plenty of room on the left side to go up. Right hand, no good. Thought he was going to get fouled, and I think – Carmel did a good job of avoiding the foul there. McEachern kicks out to Brown for three. No good. Controlled by McEachern. Double pumps. 
Agbo fouled by Carter, so he'll go to the line to shoot two. Agbo frustrated. The shot didn't go in, mm -hmm. but um, he's been a force on the end. I, like you said, Chris, I'm surprised they are not going to Agbo and Edens more down mm -hmm. there. Agbo with his first free throws of the night. First one, front rims out as Mayor checks in for the Tomcats. Tristan Davis will take a break. Carmel School now two for four from the line as a team. His second attempt, a little more luck there, and it's 37-34 Tomcats. DeBoer. DeBoer has to be a little frustrated with his play in the first half, going one for six from the floor, and really just missed some close-in layups. And Mayor's got to come up with that one. That was a nice pull. What happened to DeBoer on the dribble drive, pulled Mayor's defender. Mayor's got to be ready to catch and go up strong. Mm -hmm. And I think the more race does that, it's unfortunate the turnover, but at some point he's going to start catching. Us. Yeah. Three-pointer up, no good. That'll be a push on Agbo. Back to what you said before. At some point he's going to start catching him or somebody else will. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think that I think they're looking to to teach by continuing yeah. to get the ball to him, and and he's getting uh, better and better every time you see him mm -hmm. out on the floor. He's come light years from last year. That was off oh. the board's leg, so it will be Carmel's ball deep in the corner. Mm -hmm. Looks like Nikita made a heads-up play on that and and deflected it off of the board right at the last second. Good play. Ashland sticking with their zone. There you go, high, high post, high low game. Bad decision there, you get the ball in the high post, you don't throw it down low, throw it up over the top where you've got the advantage. Carter, three ball, trail, no good. Agbo with the rebound, McEachern, check that. That's not McEachern, that's Brown. Feed into Edens, challenged by Mayor, that'll be a foul on Mayor. That'll be his third. Well, that might go against Adkins. It did. Oh, Asher okay, Adkins so. called for the foul. So, Edens at the line. His first free throws of the night. First one up and in. And he's been effective in the paint as mm -hmm. Edens, but haven't gotten it into him a whole lot. Is second, rims out, rebound Agbo, kicks out to Brown. McEachern now. Nate Freeze at the table ready to check in. I don't think Coach Bonner's happy with Mayor giving up that offensive rebound. Drive by Brown, floater no good, rebound controlled by Carter. Carter breaks the double team, now Ashland has numbers. One more, Conway, three ball, corner pocket, got it! Tucker Conway, his fourth three of the game. Ashland pushing out to a 40-35 lead. That's 18 now for Tucker Conway. Edens, foul line jumper, pure. Lead cut to three. It's got a nice left-handed mm -hmm. stroke. The board. Front rim, no good. The board just seems a little bit off tonight, Tyler. I can't place it. Yeah, I think after missing those early shots, it frustrated him a bit. That was off Eden, so it'll be Ashland's ball and freeze in for Mayor. Mayor getting a coaching lesson from a pretty darn good post player in, in Ashland's history of his own, Ryan Bonner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. <laughs> Atkins three ball from the corner. Ashland now out to a six-point lead. And that's Atkins' first bucket of the game. That was big. Agbo's got to turn and face if he gets the ball in the high post. That one right off his thumb. DeBoard now. Need a big play by DeBoard here to wake himself. There we go. There we go. Nice move by DeBoard. The pull-out hesitation created that space for him to drive in and get the finish on the right side. 
And this will be a full, so we're going to take a break. You're watching the 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. We will be right back. How do we make the future of energy ours? By knowing who we are, where we're going, by remembering the roads we've traveled, while developing new paths of our own. At Kentucky Power, we're working to generate new ideas and empower possibilities for us all. Shaped by who we are, where we live, and what we value, the future is ours to hold. B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Ashland leads 45-37. And Tyler, this quarter it's been the Ashland of old, hasn't it? Yes, they not only two threes in the first half. However, they've hit four in this quarter. Conway with two, Carter with a three, and now Asher Adkins with a three-pointer. McEachern across the line. Over to Brown. Skip pass to Brooks. Brown, high post. Kicks to the corner to Brooks. Good defense by Carter getting out. McEachern on the spin move. Around freeze. No good. Freeze with a rebound. Here comes DeBoer. DeBoer. Back to the board. Conway, corner, three ball. Got it, Tucker Conway. Spotless from behind the three-point line so far tonight. Five for five. Carter misses the layup. Ashland up 48-37. Brooks. Brown, over to McEachern. Brooks, Brooks needs to get around that three-point line if he's going to be a threat. Not a threat to drive, but he is a threat to catch and shoot. Yeah, and if I'm Ashland, I commit and say, if, if anybody from Carmel beats mm -hmm. us, it's not going to be Brooks. Nice free throw line jumper by McEachern. Conway, three ball, no good. His first miss from behind the line tonight. Carter hesitates, up with the finish, and he is fouled by number five, Christian Brown. So Carter going back to the free throw line, a place he has become familiar with tonight, Tyler. Yes, he's been he's taken eight free throw shots and, and done a good job extending himself into the lane. Now he I have him that, that's 20 for him now. So another big game for Carter. Ashland stretches their lead out 50-39 with a chance to make it 51. Carter rims it out. 11-point game. McEachern over to Harley. Harley's going to pull it over to the left side. Carmel trying to spread the floor here. McEachern, elbow jumper, got it. Ashland has LeBriant straighter at the table ready to check in as we approach the 90-second mark. The board with room, with the finish, and got it. Race the board now starting to heat up a little bit in the third quarter, Tyler. And that, that, I think it was good to get for Ashland to get him going. He's an mm -hmm. important player of this offense, and you saw his, against Fleming County how important he was and what he did there. Brooks, 30 feet from the rim, Harley. McEachern to the elbow, looking for Brown. McEachern against Freeze, gets the bank, and it's a nine-point game. Tough shot. The mm -hmm. board walks it up with 45 seconds to play in the third. They're going to get McEachern for physical play on the board. That break will be enough to bring in LeBride Strader, who's going to give Nate Freeze a break. So 
Rager. Good to see him on the court yeah. after that knee injury and had a special season playing quarterback this year for Ashland football. And he can also step out behind the three-point line too, folks. He can. The board to Conway. Conway the screen from Strader. Strader now looking for some room back to Conway. Ashland needs to swing the ball out of that corner. Strader now. Carter on the drive. Carter skip to DeBoard. DeBoard's going to let it fly, and he got it. Race the board now with his seventh point of the third quarter. Skip pass to Brooks. Seven seconds. Brooks inside, taken away by Strader. Three, two, Davis, one, shot. Oh, off the front rim, but Ashland. At the end of three, has a 12-point lead over Carmel, 55-43. We're going to take a break. You're watching 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. We will be. Here at My Town TV, we're all pretty good athletes, but sometimes we just got to get out on the court and show these kids how it's done. And we're back for the fourth quarter at the 67th Annual Ashland Invitational Tournament. It is Ashland and the Carmel School. Ashland ahead by 12 with eight minutes to play. Ashland will have the ball to start the fourth quarter, Tyler. Yeah, as an Ashland much better shooting that quarter. One, two, three, four, five threes. And they, they are now, yeah, they're six for nine from downtown in this half. Yeah, Ashland shooting 53% from behind the line from the game. Wow. And uh, much of that goes to Tucker Conway, who's five of six from three. And they're going to call that illegal screen against LeBryant Strader. So Carmel will get the ball back with just a few ticks off the clock here in the fourth quarter. Harley, as McEachern has moved to the high post in Carmel's offense. Campbell, dump down and dunk by Bird. So it's a 10 point ball game. The board. Wants the screen from Strader again. The board looking for room to go. Finger roll, missed the shot. Strader with the rebound. He's fouled on the way up. So Strader will go to the line for the, well, that's a two-shot foul, shooting foul. Strader, you know, one of the most efficient quarterbacks in the state of Kentucky this year mm -hmm. as a sophomore. Um, as you mentioned, picked up a knee injury at the end of the season and now has made his way back on the floor finally. And he's played some good minutes so far for these Tomcats, Tyler. He has. He's hustled out there and still getting himself gathered together. Mm -hmm. He's just recently been able to practice again, but that's a big play he makes yeah. for Ashland. Strader gets both. Campbell, corner three, no good. Rebound, Tristan Davis. DeBoer across the timeline with seven to play. Ashland with a 12 point lead. Carter. Carter isolated, wants to go. Skip to Davis, back to Conway. Conway trying to turn the corner. Now it's Carter. Carter. Strong finish and the harm. So Xander Carter proving unguardable here in the second half as he's been able to finish from behind the three-point line. Basically all three levels, Xander Carter 
has been efficient in this one, Tyler. And what consistency. Seven in the first quarter, eight in the second, five in the third, and now mm -hmm. a bucket to start the fourth. 60-45 Tomcats. 23 now. McEachern across the line. Brooks. I just don't like it when teams start their offense 30 feet from the rim. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the old NBA continuation oh. call there. Yeah, um, what that was, it looked like at first I was like, what in the world? He wasn't touched, but uh, he was yeah, fouled. Tucker grabbed him when he was on the, um, on the ground, grabbed his jersey. Brooks misses the free throw, strong rebound by Strader. And here comes that run and jump defense from Carmel, which got them back in the game against Henry Clay. Skip pass to DeBoer. DeBoer, jumper, eight feet, got it. Race the board. A much better second half out of race the board offensively. And that's nine for him all in this half. Brown with the three. Aaron Brown knocks it down, and it's a 12-point game with 6.02 left. That will be a full, so we're going to take that opportunity to take a break. You're watching the 16th, not the 16th region, the 60th. It will be soon enough, Tyler. Don't get too far ahead. <laughs> the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament here on My Town TV Sports. Return. Refresh. Refuel. Download the Clark's Pump and Shop mobile app and be up to date on our in-store specials. Get mobile coupons and free stuff. Clark's Pump and Shop. Return, refresh, refuel. Hi, I'm Tiffany with Members Choice Credit Union. Use your Members Choice credit or debit card at any participating realtor and you will get a discount of their choosing. Merry Christmas from Members Choice Credit Union and thank you for shopping local. And we are back with the 67th annual AIT brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. Again, we want to thank our partners at the Marriott Delta Hotel in downtown Ashland for helping take care of these kids who are all in town this week. All these, all these teams coming from outside the region, with the exception for Ashland, obviously, but their experience has been something special here in Ashland, and the Delta has played a big part in that, Tyler. It has. Their service has been outstanding, and it's great to see these teams just here and mm. having a good time. Davis couldn't get the finish. Rebound by Brooks out to McEachern. Knocked away by Conway. McEachern keeps his dribbles, able to get it out to Brooks. Nearly taken away by Davis. Brooks on the drive, up and under. No good. Conway comes up with the loose ball. Ashland in no hurry here. It's about time and score. Work for the best shot you can get. You've got a 12-point lead with 5.20 to play. No point in getting in a hurry here. Conway lets it fly, no good. Rebound Harley. McEachern up and under, no contact at all, but McEachern's going to go to the line to shoot two. So you can see McEachern avoids the contact with the up and under, maybe a little bit with Conway's trail leg, but that's about it. McEachern yeah, boinks that one off the back iron. McEachern's such an athlete. Like, he'll take some shots, like, in a normal scenario. I'd be like, no, don't do that. But with McEachern, <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, that's typical. It goes in a lot. Yeah, it's like Conway on that last possession. Yeah. You want Ashland to run to get the best shot possible, but you've got Conway open from behind mm -hmm. the three-point line. That's yeah, that's that a high percentage <laughs> shot. It just didn't go. DeBoer with five to play, crosses the timeline over to Conway. Conway with a screen from Atkins. Out to Davis. Over to DeBoer. DeBoer, hesitation dribble. He's going to pull it back out. DeBoer waves off the screen from Davis. Ashland in no hurry here. Carter drives up strong with the finish and the harm. That foul will go against Joaquin Harley. 
his third. And I can't say it enough. Xander Carter has taken his game to an entirely new level, Tyler. He has. It's 26 He's, points, Chris. One thing he hasn't been able to do before this year as effectively as he is now is finish through contact. Mm -hmm. He's able to go up into defenders and finish, and that was the part of the game that he was missing. Brooks with yes. a long shot, no good rebound, Carter. But when he can take, and because he's gotten so much stronger with his offseason conditioning, he can absorb that contact and still finish. And that's such a bit important part for a guard. And mm -hmm. I think his development in the weight room, he's put a ton of time in it. And part of it was his confidence, I think. And yeah. as that's gone up, I think it's helped him tremendously in his development. You know, and it's paying off. He's getting a lot of attention from Division I schools. And all you have to do is follow his Twitter account to see it. The board kicks it to Davis. Davis couldn't hang on to it. McEachern. Corner to Brooks. Three ball. No good. Rebound Davis. Slapped down by Harley. And Harley unable to save it. Going so to be, Ashland, but love the hustle from yeah. Harley. Ashland's ball deep in the corner. I think you're going to see Carmel pick up here, as they should. You see Jamie Campbell <laughs> with the dry mop at the ready. Brought his game today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ashland in trouble. That was a quick count, but Carmel will have the ball with 3.33 to play. That's a tough spot to inbound mm -hmm. from full court. Jackson will inbound for Carmel. Brown now. McEachern. High post. Jackson shot blocked by Carter. Rebound Atkins. And with 3.15 to play, Carmel running out of chances here against the hometown heroes. Carter now on the wing. Knocked away by McEachern. Conway in the corner. Ashland needs to settle down here and reset the floor. The board driving against Brown. The board spin move, right hand shot up and in. The board thought he got fouled there and let his opinion be known. Spin move, Brown misses the shot. Rebound, Asher Atkins, two and a half to play. And looks like the Ashland Tomcats, barring a complete meltdown, will advance here. Ashland has done an outstanding job on the interior against those big physical bodies of Carmel. Xander Carter off to DeBoer. DeBoer with Jackson on him. DeBoer. Right hand layup. Finger roll up and in. Race DeBoer. As we mentioned, really coming alive here in the second half after a tough first half. Nice finish by McEacher. And Coach Williams wants a timeout. Gosh, I'm curious how many seconds that was coast to coast. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Well, that'll be a full. We're going to take a break. You're watching the AIT on My Town TV. We will be right back. How do we make the future of energy ours? By knowing who we are, where we're going, by remembering the roads we've traveled, while developing new paths of our own. At Kentucky Power, we're working to generate new ideas and empower possibilities for us all. Shaped by who we are, where we live, and what we value, the future is ours to hold. Hey Bones, love saving money? B-Dubs gives you more with buy one, get one free boneless wings on boneless Thursdays. So keep the bones in your wallet and out of your chicken. The win-win value lineup at Buffalo Wild Wings. Get takeout or delivery. Tomcats lead at 67-53 with a minute 40, a minute 54 to play rather. 
Carmel School picking up full court, as they should at this point. The board trapped deep in the corner off to Davis. Davis breaks the press. Conway back to the board. The board's going to go. He's fouled by Harley. And that will be the seventh team foul on Carmel. So Ashland will go to the line to shoot one and the bonus, Tyler. Yeah, I think we'll see how Ashland does here from the line. Um, so far as a team, although a lot of it's um, – Z Xander Carter's been to on, but mm -hmm. Rice gets it to go. He has 14 points, Chris, all in the second half. And, yes. you know, against Fleming, Ashland went on a huge run when he got hot. Yep. And look at this one. 71-53 Tomcats, yeah. McEachern lost the handle on the way up. They're going to say it was off Conway. So Carmel School will have it out of bounds underneath. Carmel in a box set. Tapped away by Carter, one back by Davis, over to the board. The board's going to bounce it out. Conway, Davis, right hand layup, up and in. Tristan Davis with the finish. Ashland now up 20 with a minute 15 to play. And Coach Williams wants a timeout. I think just to run his bench. It's like Oglesby, Gonzalez. Campbell, Gonzalez, Harley, and Isler. Ashland looks like Davis, Messer, Clark, Jennings, and Lyons. Sam, Sam Lyons, yeah. Campbell inbounds and immediately turned over. So Ashland will have the ball deep in the corner. Coach Williams is a little frustrated with that one. So Cam Davis taking over point guard duties. Jennings. Clark now up front. Backs it off over to Jennings. Jennings on the drive and finish. Ashland up 22 with under a minute to play. Harley, corner to Campbell. Campbell's going to drive, tried to dump it in and did, but that was a tie-up between Messer and Eisler. And two big, strong dudes mm -hmm. going at yeah. it. <coughs> 45 seconds to play. That one won back by Davis. Davis with a finger roll up and in. He's fouled by Harley. So Cam Davis will go to the line to shoot a free throw. Nice concentration by Davis on the finish as he saw Harley out of the corner of his eye closing in defensively. Davis has such impressive instincts, and the same goes for football. He, know, he just knows yeah. how to be in the right place at the right time to make the play. So Bird checks in for Harley, who fouled out on that play. Cam Davis, back iron. Jennings picks up the loose ball, 38 to play. Messer, elbow, jumper, let it go. And does he get the roll? No, rebound controlled by Carmel. Here's Campbell under pressure, nearly lost the handle. Jennings, those quick hands causing Campbell fits, taken away by Sam Lyons now. Up to Clark with the finish. 79-53 Tomcats. Bird. And Tyler, that will do it as the Ashland Tomcats avenge their loss from last night as they dispatch the Carmel School by a count of 79-53. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have Tyler Rowland with the stats on this game. You're watching the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament. Brought to you by Clark's Puppet Shop here on My Town TV Sports. We will be right back. We're not changing what we do every day. We're there to help people. They always make you feel like family. 
when you go there, you feel like you are home. We trust the people that work there. This is my people. City National Bank is proud to be ranked number one in the region in customer satisfaction for the last five years by J.D. Power & Associates. For a convenient City National Bank location near you, log on to bankatcity.com. That's bankatcity.com. City National Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. City National Bank can help you purchase or refinance your home with their no-down payment mortgage. For more information or a convenient City National Bank location near you, log on to bankatcity.com. That's bankatcity.com. City National Bank, member FDIC and equal housing lender. And we're back to wrap things up as the Ashland Tomcats with a runaway win over the Carmel School. And Tyler Rowland, you've got the stats for this one. Yes, yeah, so we'll look through some numbers here, Chris. And first off for the for the game, Carmel School, they, they shot 42% for the game, 44% in the first half, 40% in the second. When you dissect that a little bit, the three-point shooting, three for seven in the first half, only one for six mm -hmm. in the second. Um, they, they shot 60% from the line for the game. Looks like they were 6 for 10. Um, on the, the numbers, Ashland, um, they shot, on the game, they shot 54%, 44 in the first half and 63 in the second. Um, from three, a big difference. Two of six in the first half for 33% and six of 11 in the second for 54%. They were a total of 13 of 18 from the free throw line for 72%. And looking at the no, look at the individual leaders, we'll start with Carmel School. Um, McEachern and Aaron Brown both led the way. They had 15 and 13 respectively. Eddins had seven. Um, Chris Brown, Christian Brown, um, Agbo, Brooks, and Bird finished with four apiece. And Harley hit a three-pointer. Um, Car Carmel School finished with 18 turnovers compared to 11 for Ashland. Then looking at the numbers, Xander Carter, 9 for 15 from the field, hit a 3 as well. 26 points, 3 assists, uh, 5 boards, 3 assists for him. 21 points for Tucker Conway, including mm -hmm. 5 for 7 from downtown. Race to board, 17 all in the second half, I believe. He had two in the All first right, he half. had the layup, yeah. that's right, at the end. So 15 of that in the second. And um, and then Tristan Davis, TD had four. Um, Asher Adkins had, had a three-pointer. And Braxton Jennings, Caleb Clark, and, um, and Strader finished with mm -hmm. two apiece. And Tyler, we said it at halftime, Ashland needed to establish a third scoring threat in the second half mm -hmm. if they were going to pull away and win this one. Enter Race DeBoard, who struggled mightily in the first half, but in the second half picked it up with 15 second-half points, and you know his play was really the difference, along with the consistency from Conway, Adkins, Davis, and Carter. That was the difference in this game. And having seen this and seeing the big run that Ashland went on when Fleming County, when Rice got hot, mm -hmm. I think that, that shows what an important asset he is to this yeah. team and how important it is that he performs well. He had His skill set, his ability to, with that deceptive quickness to drive the lane and to, and to get those reverse lay-ins that he, he's able to do, um, 
it's it's not something that a lot of teams have. No, and it's not. When he gets that going, it's tough to stop. So if we can now focus, I think, on more more consistently keeping him a threat, that will make Ashland that much better. So the Tomcats will take on Blue Ridge tomorrow here at the uh, last day of the AIT. And I want to say before we get out of here, it was nice to see Jamie Campbell back on the dry mop for this one uh, as he missed the first game mm -hmm. today. But it's good to see he's back and healthy. And we'll see if he sticks around for the next two games on the dry mop. Yeah, we'll see. He better not slack. So. <laughs> All right, we're going to get out of here. We'll be back live at 645 for game three of the second day of the 67th annual Ashland Invitational Tournament brought to you by Clark's Pump and Shop here on My Town TV Sports. Until then, we'll see you later.